So today um, we are going to look at what React is all about, GSX, components and props. And the reason why um, we are going to look at this is that last week we were supposed to have gone through all these, but um, for a few reasons, I, I couldn't do a lot of demonstration. So, and um, the feedback that I also got was that I rushed through the content. I sort of forgot that there were, um, or there are a number of beginners amongst us. So besides that, the last thing will be the project that we are going to build today. The Figma is available on this link. I'll share it in the chat as well. So from here, I'll just go ahead, stop um, sharing this particular screen, and then I'll drop all the links in the chat. Um, Let's see. So let's drop the link in the chat. So I just dropped the link to um, everything that I mentioned in the chat. So, um, we are going to build this particular project. Um, that you can find the figma in the chat as well. Hope you can still see my screen. Okay, so this is about it. But before that, let's do um, a bit of discussion on um, some of the take the takeaways that I mentioned before um, we move on to building the project. So please, um, if you want to code along with me, you can. Use Code Sandbox. So Code Sandbox is basically um, a hosted ID that you can you can build um, a quick um, project from. Um, okay, so let's go back to our session takeaways. Now let's start with what React is all about. Um, because of the practical session today and the content that we have to cover. I'll be doing a lot of the talking, but please feel free to um, stop me along the line if you need me to repeat something or give um, further explanation on anything. I'll be monitoring the, um, the Q&A section as well. So what is React all about, right? Um, generally, as we all know, React is the um, a, a JavaScript library, right? And it's, basically meant or the, the purpose of React is basically to display HTML, right? And um, this HTML changes when the user does something, right? And um, I'd say that we tell React what content we want to see on a screen by creating a, a, a function that returns a JSX. And that is what we, uh, we term as the, the component. And um, so basically components are functions that return JSX. Um, how does a React app start up? Okay, so um, all like your projects are JavaScript, JavaScript files that um, are bundled together into a single file, then placed onto a server, right? So user makes requests to the server and then they get the HTML file plus the bundle, right? And every um, React project has an index.html file within its um, public folder. So this index.html, you find um, a div with the ID. So um, let's, let's go, let's um, go to, I hope everybody can see the, um, my code editor, but so what I'm basically trying to say is that in every React file, you're going to find um, a public folder and within this public folder, you find the um, index.html file, right? And within this index.html file, if you scroll down, you are going to see a div that always had, has an ID of root, okay? And um, basically, this um this is the the div within like that you are going to inject your your um the view whatever you want to see within your react 
um, um, project with uh, insight. Okay, so please keep this in mind. So within every React project, you are going to find first the public folder, and within the public folder, you are going to find the index.html. And within the index.html, you find a div with an ID of root. Now, from here, if you come to the index.js, okay, you are going to find, let me minimize this a bit, okay. So I, I'm sure that most of us already cover science with um, JavaScript and DOM manipulation, right? So if you can see the line six, you see that um, we are saying that root elements should be document that get elements by ID root. And from the um, JavaScript DOM, JavaScript um, DOM knowledge, you, you, you know that if you want to get the content, like you want to con um, assign the content of whatever is within the get um, the root ID, this is how you are going to do it. Right, and then you here we are assigning everything. We are trying to say that everything within the um the div, which is the div that has the ID of root, should be um assigned to a, um an element called root element. Now the next point is this: we are going to assign again um another element that we call the root. Okay, and then we are creating root for the root element. And finally, the other thing that you see here is that this root that we've created, we are rendering this within it. And as you can see, we are rendering not just um, anything, but the app, which um, is sort of the main, like the, the, the file within your um, React project that holds every content that you need to display. So if you come here, as you can see on my screen, you can see this content, hello code sandbox, start editing to see some magic, right? It's all coming currently from the app.js. So this is it, right? And if we are to make um, any changes, you will see in real time that it is updated here. So what this is trying to um, tell us is that a React project is um, in effect just um, an HTML, like we are injecting content into an HTML, um, an HTML file, because at the end of the day, when it's being rendered, it's rendering the HTML. Okay, so at this point, I'll, I'll give a brief pause if there's any question before I proceed. Okay, so I am assuming that everybody is fine to this point. Now that we know um, the um, how the the content flows before it appears on our screen, let's go to the app.js. Now, as I mentioned, um, this is the project that we are looking to build today. Um, what I'm going to do is that we are basically just going to um, the uh, very important components of it, okay? And then um, once we are done, I'm going to give the rest of it as more like an assignment for us to go and try out, you know, like and flesh it out properly. Okay, so let's proceed. Now I mentioned JSX um, with, um, when I was um, talking about the, um, uh, the concept that you need to understand in React. So, Within this this um, design, right? If you wanted to create the, the card, this main card, any of these cards. So right now, last week we did a, a breakdown of the the design. So I'll just quickly um, mention that this is let's say a card, and these are all cards that come together to make one big card, right? So what is happening is that if we wanted to create any of these cards, we will have to create it as a JSX, right? But before that, we know that um, one of the, the features that makes React awesome is the fact that it uses, it makes use of components. So let's do this. Currently, um, 
I'll be switching a lot um, between the design and the, the project. So please bear with me. Currently, if we want to create, let's say, the, this um, image and then the content, right? This is what we, we would have done ordinarily, let's say, in HTML. We would have first created a div. So let's create a div quickly. And within the div, um, as we saw, we first have an image. So let's do tag. Um, a minute, please. Okay, so let's do our image tag, um, which is very normal um, HTML. So I have, I, I hosted the images that we have on the, um, on the Figma so that we can quickly go through it. But this is about it. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, so I hosted the image so that we can we can quickly go to, but you see the the image that I just added, right? Besides that, what else um can we see the design um for this part? It's a um, let's see a heading and then a description. So let's quickly create um a heading. So let's see an H three. And then we'll give it a title, song title. So I'm going to use this to explain components and JSX. So please um, follow, follow me as I go. And then the last thing we'll have here is the song description. Now, um, okay. So we can we can see um, that everything that I I typed is already showing on, our, on, on my screen. Now, the thing is that looking at this, this design now, um, okay, we could actually also add a button for the like and then the ellipsis. So let me add that before I proceed. So let's have a button um, with the like button. And then I'll just copy this paste and then we'll have our ellipses there. Okay, so, so um, I think this is very basic, something that we can we can move along with. Now, the thing is that um, if we're doing this in HTML, CSS, what would have done in order to achieve all these is what to duplicate what we've done here. So ideally what we would have done HTML, CSS, JavaScript is to copy this div and then paste it again to get the second um, um, design. And we'll paste it again to get the as many times as we need to show this content, right? But like, if you do this, it doesn't like, it doesn't make your 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 code coherent, I would say that, that's the first thing. And performance wise, okay, like it, it won't like, rendering all these as um, individuals would slow down your application. So what React then does is um, introducing the concept of, of components. But before then, I would, ha I'd have to mention that I mentioned JSX initially. This is basically JSX. It's basically writing your HTML within your, your JavaScript, right? So everything that you see here, which is very familiar, um, HTML um, tags, div, h1, a2, image, etc. button, they are what in React we refer to them as JSX. So that's what JSX is about. Now let's move to con um, component. So now that we see the, the, um, the shortcomings of duplicating this particular div, okay, so that we can get as many um, of the cut as possible. Let's introduce the concept of components. Now, for components, the first thing that you'd have to do is within your SRC, you have to create 
a folder. So a, a folder or a new directory, and then you name it components. And within the components, you create your um, React file. So in this case, because we are looking at songs, we would I'd create a file that would call the song card. So let's do song card. And please pay attention to the naming conventions and um, the manner in which I'm, um, I'm writing out the titles of um, the the files. Um, okay, so Jackie, I'm using Code Sandbox. I shared the link earlier in the chat, but just in case you you missed that, I would share again. Um, so Code Sandbox. I mean. Okay, so I just shared in the chat again. So you can always use Code Sandbox to whip up a quick um, React project, and then um, and then move from there. Okay, so back to our component. So now that we have the um, song card component, what we are basically going to do is, in order to avoid repeating, um the the card like we we just did we are going to create a component that is very basic all is going to contain is the image the title the description and then we can add the like and then the ellipsis as well that is the first component that we are going to create and then i'll explain why that is important as we go forward now um to create a react file or a component, what you do is first to, um, I mentioned initially that React components are basically functions that return JSX, right? So remember in your JavaScript, um, writing a function, a function is basically, if it's a song card, we do const song card. Um, in this case, we are using a, an arrow function. So, this and then um, it returns returns um, your JSX. So this is how to quickly whip up um, um, a file, um, JSX file component in React, right? So within the return is where you put your JSX. In this case, we can just go to uh, our app and then copy what we had. So um, it's basically the, from the div to here. So I'll just copy it and then come back here and paste it. Okay. Okay. Um, aside aside from that, the the other thing is currently we have um an index and uh, sorry um a styles um file which is styles.css right. So I can import. If you want to make use of anything within your um, your component, you import it. So I would quickly import the styles, the CSS, so that we can add a few um, styles to sorry our component. Now that we have this, okay, what we can then do is come to um, is come to uh, up and then we can now get rid of everything that we initially wrote so let's take it off for now once we take it off we we need to represent it in in a way right so what i'm going to do here is import the um the song card so there's currently something that i've left out i'm going to throw the question to to us to try and figure what I've left out, but here I'm coming to import the song card. So song card, um, I import it. But as you can see, it's, it's saying that the song card is not defined. So um, just to add a bit of interactivity to the session, is there anybody that can tell us what I'm missing that is making this, um, that is bringing up this error. 
So within the next say, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, if anybody can tell me what I'm missing. Anyone? Okay. Would you need to import the song card in the app? Exactly. So, um, Gina, that's the first thing. Thank you so much. So I ha have to import. So I mentioned right before I um, imported the styles that you have to um, import whatever you want to use that is not already within um, the, the component. So now we import um, the song card. There's something else that is going to come up. So, so <laughs> I'm importing the song card um, from So I go back to components and then song card. Okay. So as we can um, we can see, there's still something missing. Um, if I save, it's still saying that there's something missing that is not causing um, my project to run. So is there anybody that can um okay and uh okay sorry and uh, let me allow you to talk okay so at this point i've allowed everybody to talk sorry if you were muted before come and please go ahead okay yeah, welcome, Hello. yes um Can you hear me? Please um, go ahead. Yeah, I can okay. hear you. All right. From the song card um dot gsx, did you do an um, export? Exactly. So thank you so much for that. Um, one thing that I intentionally left out was this. You know, before you you are able to exp um, import any component or any uh, functionality within, within your component, especially for components. After creating it, you are, you are not done. Because at this point, no other component within your application will know about the existence of the song card or GSX, right? So what we then have to do is to export this um, component so that other um, components can get the chance to import it and use its functionality. I hope that at this point, everybody understands. Um, so what we are going to do here is to export. So we have two types of exports, but it's, I'm going to do that to us to um, um, do some research on it. So at this point, I'm going to export default. So export default song card. Um, Okay. Sorry. Okay, it's taking a while to load. Um, please a minute. Okay. All right. So now, um, if we come, if we come here, um, um. Sorry, a minute. Okay. So now let's let's try and um, re import a uh, a song card. Should have been instant actually, but let's do it again. Okay. It's giving me an error. Hold on. Okay. Let us restart and I see. Okay. Now it's it's back. So I had to just reload the application. Um I mean the the code editor so that it, the changes will take effect. So just like um Joyce rightly pointed out, the one thing that was missing from our component initially was we hadn't exported it. So as we exported, you see that. Um, the import has now taken effect because now the app.js um, has an idea that there's a component called song card. Okay, now 
um at this point we are still not um i'd say um a hundred percent implemented the concept of react because now if i want to have more cards um that are similar to this what do i do fine i can copy and paste this and as i copy and paste you see that um, it's duplicated here but what is missing here is that the, uh, the content is the same, okay? So, um, and that is something that you would um, come across a lot within and um, when um, building React application, you need to render what we call content dynamically, okay? So what that means is that within the song card, we are, uh, uh, for now, what we are doing, we call um, hard coding, okay? So we've hard coded the, the content in such a way that if we duplicate, it's just this content that we are going to see, okay? And that is not what we want. We want to be able to render different content um, within our, our component. And that is where we introduce another com um, concept, a very important concept in React. I'm going to uh, open the floor once again for someone to tell us what it is I'm talking about. Carmen, sorry, I just um, allowed you to speak, so we should be able to unmute now. But um, anybody that hasn't spoken yet, you want to tell us what important concept I'm talking about? that would allow us to render our, con our content dynamically. Anyone want to try? Um, can I try? Uh, is it Joyce? Yeah. Yes, Joyce, a minute. Let me see if anyone else that hasn't spoken would want to. Okay, so in three, two, one. Okay, Joyce, let's let's have your response. Not really sure, but are you referring to? No, Pop? that's fine. Exactly. So, um, I was referring to props. So, aside JSX and components, props is also one of the very important concepts in React. Basically, what um prop does is. First of all, it's a short form for properties, okay? And what it does is that in React, it allows you to pass data or functions from uh, a parent component to a child component, okay? So um, I already mentioned that um, co um, components are basically functions um, that return JSX, okay? So you can then take React as arguments, that you pass within your function. Okay, so with this basic knowledge, let's see the um, props in action. Now, um, within our, our, our cart, um, within our cart, um, sorry, our, our song cart, we want to be able to dynamically render the content. So what we are going to do then is let me, um, let me, should I comment this out? Okay, let me comment this out so that we can um, compare it later when we are done. So first of all, the content, you have to first, um, um, I'd say that target the content that is meant to be dynamic, right? So the first thing that we can see from our design here is that for for um, the cards, for the songs, they all have different images. So now let's go and make our image source dynamic. And we make it dynamic by assigning um, um, a name to it. So for instance, let's say we want to name it image 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 ui okay and um 
we need an alt text, you know, for every image. So let's add our alt text and say we need um, image alt. Okay. Now, um, similarly for the song, let's, um, sorry, the song title, let's make it um, song title. And then the description. So I'm just targeting all the things that are dynamic within our design. The other thing is so song description and description. And then we also have okay for the like and then the ellipses because they are basically the same thing. Um, I'll leave it as it is for now. Okay. Now that we have this, um, I'm still going to leave something out so that we can quickly talk about it. But now that we have this, ideally, if I went to um, the apps, um, the app.js, what I can then do is I can pick each, um, um, each um, how do I even put it? Um, each representation of our component, our song card component, right? And then pass the props that I've indicated here. So the first prop that we have here is image URI, right? So what should have happened is this. I should be able to pick this and then go to my, um, my app and then indicate it here. And from here, I would simply add the the uh, the link to the image. So let me copy it from here, and then I'll paste it here. Okay. Now this is the first. I'm going to just do the first one. Explain what we are doing wrong, and then I'll come um I'll come back to what we can do to fix it. Now at this point, even though I I've done to an extent, um, I'd say that I've done the first thing right. You can see that it's not like, it's not identifying it. You can see the error here, reference error. It says that image URL is not defined. And that is because, first of all, the within the song card, we're supposed to have indicated. I you remember that I mentioned that props are, arguments for our functions. So we are supposed to have indicated the word prop. Sorry, props. The the word props. And after we've done that, we have to um, have, I mean, there are two ways of doing this, but because um, it's a very um, beginner friendly class, I'm going to just do the very basic way. So, um, what you can then do is add precede all the dynamic elements with props. So now we have props dot um, image URL, right? And then let's do props dot. And as soon as I did this, you can see that the error has been removed, right? So. Um, Sorry, okay. So let's add the alt as well. And then let's say we give it um, lo-fi image. Okay. Um, now it's, now that we are done with, you see now it, the arrow has moved from initially referencing the line 12, which was about the image and the, um, the image to the song title, saying that song title is not defined, right? So it means that we have to go ahead and then do everything, just indicating that all these are supposed to be, you know, like passed as props. So props dot song title, and then you can see again the arrow has moved from song title to song description. So finally, we have props dot song description, and we can. Now see that the error is all cleared up and we are seeing 
our content, some part of our content. Okay, so let's go back to the app.js. Now, now that we are at the app.js, you can see that the only thing that is showing up here is the image, right? And on every on every um, component, apart from image, we also have the title and then the description. So um, after all, let me just add title. And then I'll assign it to uh, um, lo-fi. Okay, let's do lo-fi music. Okay, and then the other thing will be description. The script, the script, <laughs> sorry, description. And then let's do description for lo-fi music. Okay. Um, okay. I think that, let me refresh. Okay. Um, a minute. Is that a reason why this is not showing up? Okay, let me just be sure that I, okay. so image URL, image alt, um, description, um, yeah, mm. this is right, let me, okay. Let's um let's let me comment this out and see what the issue might be. Uh, okay, a minute. Um, so image props the image props the image out. Image out. Um, interesting. Okay, let's let's um, let me just duplicate this. I wonder why it's not working. Um, image you are. H three props. Um, okay, <laughs> that's very interesting. Anyway, um, I wonder why it's it's not it's not displaying. But let me. You may just add a simple. Wow. Sorry. Images you are using are the same, All right? Yes, I'm talking about the content. The content here, yeah, like the the. Can I see the the song title and the song? Ah, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. So, I mean, you know, there's this thing that they say that. <laughs> let me let me um point out my mistake and then I'll explain. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so um, you can see that here I made the song title and then within the prop, I just did title, right? So if we replace with song title, then we see it. So <laughs> very sorry about that. I totally missed it. So I mean, it's, 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 it's good because that was a, a good learning opportunity for us. But basically what it does is that everything that you've defined here should be exactly what you put here. Okay, so you can, so what um, the mistake that I made was I, when I was um, indicating the title here, I was like, I typed ahead of checking what exactly I put here, right? 
which would not work. So um, it's the same for the description. So you can see that um, for the description, I put here description, but within the components, there's nothing like just description, right? It's supposed to be song description. So that is what I was doing wrong. So if I copy this and then go back and then replace the description with song description, now our description shows up. So um, I hope that <laughs> my my 30 to 45 seconds of almost um, a heart attack has, has thought at something <laughs> anyway. So um, currently, um, if I replace all the um, the keys here, we are going to see that they are almost the same, right? So, okay. So, so um, if you wanted to render the content dynamically, you would just now, now come in and then change it. So, um, font image and the bells, um, jingle bells, and then song description will be song description for jingle sorry jingle bells okay so you can see that as i make the changes it is like um it's being displayed here and finally the last thing would be uh other image other image um and then let's say oh holy night so description for a so that's about it. Um, you can see that now the content is rendering um dynamically. Now that we have that out of the way, we can then um quickly do some some styling, and that will be the last thing that we do. Our time is up. Uh, so for styling. Um, let's see, let's quickly, let me quickly create, um, a div. Div here. And then put our content in, inside. And then I'll give, um, this div a class name. So in React, um, the class name is Camel Keys. Like almost everything is Camel Keys um, in React. So you can, um, so let me copy this and just go within the styles of CSS. And I want to give it a background. So this is normal CSS, right? So I want to give it a background. Um, the color for the Figma is this. So you can see um, the, back, um, the background has changed to reflect the color that we have in our design. And then finally, let me do some color. So um, I want the text to become white. And finally, finally, this is the final one. <laughs> um, let's have um, color and then pattern. So let's do a pattern 20 pixel. Okay. So this is just about it. Um, because our time is up, I'll leave the next three minutes for questions. Um, but what is going to happen is that I'm going to share the design again in the um, React um, study group channel on our Slack. If you are not in that channel, please let me know so that I add you. But I'm going to share it. And then what um, I would want each and every one of us to do is to take the what we've discussed today, and then try and code up the um, the rest of this design, right? So the rest of this design. So please try and code it up. Um, the Figma is already in the channel. Um, the GitHub is already in the channel. Maria already shared those. So code up all um, this design, and then you can share your progress in the channel. If you encounter any difficulties, please let me know. Um, you can share in the channel so that myself or anyone else that can help um, in the channel.